Namaste everyone. Again, we will continue. This is a part four. Uh, how does manifestation work with a neuroscience perspective? Oh, part four now. We will today we'll discuss on non-declarative memory. We'll do a, a quickly recap of uh, part three. Uh, if you have not watched part one, part two, part three, here are all the links. Oh, you have to watch this. Uh, this is a continuation series to understand how does uh, new neuroscience work work with a manifestation. We will quickly do re uh, recap uh, what we did in a part three. Uh, now uh, declarative memory. There are two parts: knowledge and uh, and experience. Uh, when we when we uh, learn something theoretically, you know when you uh, use your conscious brain and that is stored in neocortex and when we experience what we learned when we put into action and that is stored in limbic brain uh, for example you know when you want to do when you want to drive a car you take a driving lessons right where you take a driving lessons you know you theoretically you understand then when you start driving then you experience that is stored in limbic brain and this way we learn uh, just uh, not with our mind but also with our heart what is non declarative memory when you experience again and again over and over then you know it becomes automatic because you keep repeating the same thing keep repeating the same thing and it becomes implicit and you are unconscious of, of it and it is stored in your subconscious brain that is uh, limb you know we call cerebellum and it become hardwired in your brain now cell wired together and fire together and because you wire and fire so so many times again and again through your experience and now it is become hardwired into your brain and that's why it is called non-declarative memory like you are driving a car uh, first uh, first driving the car you understand the theory of the car and driving the car and you drive the car right uh, now no, knowledge turned into experience and if you keep driving again and again now it it is subconscious you don't even fo focusing on driving the car and you are talking to somebody and you are hearing to music or or thinking something and you just driving the car don't even realize when the signal came and how did you pass and it it is it's simple implicit because it is stored in the subconscious mind and now you have made connection in your brain and your body is autopilot it is it is understood it's uh, it it like how we wake up in the morning we brush our teeth and take shower we don't even think about it while while take shower we are thinking something something else right because you're thinking what to do what to eat where how we need to go to office that is what in our mind when you're taking shower uh, so this is called non declarative memory the two parts of memory one is declarative and another one is non declarative memory non declarative memory it is not enough you do it once you have to repeat and experience over and over again so you have to do it so many times now your body is in autopilot uh, now you have condition your body to your mind uh, this is when you activate your third brain uh, 
this brain is called cerebellum this is subconscious brain or subconscious mind or cerebellum which is 95 percent who are we we have see 95 percent who are we what we do that is what we attract who we are that is what we attract so you should be very what you store in your subconscious mind you should be very careful what you store and we have 60,000 to 70,000 thoughts in a day we have 60,000 to 70,000 thoughts in a day 95 percent of our thoughts coming from the subconscious brain from cerebellum which is automatic anything happen in your life our body feels and it just responds and and our body just behaves which has become habitual habits in the redundant set of automatic subconscious thoughts behavior and actions which you which you have done so many times that now our body in the autopilot and now your body knows better than your mind you just do it without even thinking about it so the um, so this when you activate your third uh, brain cerebellum and condition your body to your new mind this becomes state of being from thinking to doing to being again i repeat thinking was in your cortex which was knowledge a thinking part analytical mind second was the experience the emotion quotient which is limbic brain and this memory stored in the limbic brain uh, and the third was cerebellum which repetition it become unconscious and it becomes subconscious memory and it is your body on your autopilot and this diagram shows the 40 percent of our brain is neocortex uh, this also differentiate us from human being which is closest to human being is dolphin uh, dolphins uh, neocortex brain is 27 percentage of uh, size and so the second uh, brain is limbic brain and the third is cerebellum uh, back of our head which is our subconscious mind first is conscious mind in between is the limbic brain the feeling brain when feeling and emotion actually bypass your neocortex the seat of your conscious mind and activate your autonomic nervous system therefore as you get beyond your thinking brain you move into a part of your brain uh, where uh, health is regulated maintained and executed that's why our body is doing so many functions we do not even think about it uh, how are we digesting our food how our food is converted into energy or how our heart is beating and how our heart is pumping our blood we don't even think about it it is autonomic habits it is from the cerebellum or autonomic nervous system or any event happens our body just feels we uh, we do not even think that nobody wants to feel unhappy nobody wants to feel sad uh, our body feels unhappy and sad that that is in limbic brain so that is the reason we should always focus on only positive things what does not evolve do not involve and you know if if it is already stored uh, in the cerebellum then it keeps coming even you don't think about it but it just uh, pops out and makes you sad and uh, unhappy 
so you know like uh, you start working on neocortex thinking brain and then limbic brain and cerebellum and change you to a new experience and new life by all good positive thinking and bring experiencing positive things and then storing that and reprogramming your subconscious mind helps to overcome all your sadness fear uh, which is stored in your sub subconscious and this will hope this helps and uh, please listen to this video it's a very helpful this this video has already helped me a lot and that's the reason i'm sharing and hope you also will work on it and uh, come over all your limited beliefs Thank you for watching this video. If you find any value in this video, please like, comment and if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll be doing uh, two videos every uh, every week and there's a lot of information to learn how to manifest. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a blessed day. Love all, so all.